Ryan and David, McMillan, Screen Door Restaurant. We're doing the grilled quail salad, grilled Texas quail, sausage bread pudding, a little red oak leaf, and a lemon sorghum vinaigrette. It's gonna be good. Okay, you ready to put these on? Oh, yeah. What we have here is two quail. Ryan, go ahead and do you remember how we did that? Shake yeah. off a little bit of the oil, put them on. Ryan's gonna put on some quail. These are semi boneless. Only thing in there is a leg, thigh, and wing. All the body cavities moved out, so it's very easy to eat. Cooks very, very quickly. And you're gonna get some flame. So be careful for those flares up, but... That's right. In the marinade, it's got white wine, olive oil, sliced shallot, chopped parsley, fresh thyme, and orange zest. What, he, what Ryan is saying is when you put it on the grill, you want to be careful to shake off the excess oil to kind of watch this firing up that'll happen. If you've got a lot of fire like you do right now, we're just going to move them off to a little bit of a cooler spot. But if you get too much fire, it gives you that lighter fluid flavor. It tastes kind of like burnt and kind of petroleum -y. Not Not a good characteristic of quail when you grill it. We're doing this grilling today to promote our class on the day before Father's Day, which is called Grill Daddy. It'll be my fifth annual Grill Daddy class out here in the patio at Screen Door. It's going to be Dottie Griffith, formerly of the Dallas Morning News, presently cookbook writer, John McClung, who works for Hasty Baked Grills out of Oklahoma. He'll bring down some of his toys for us to play with. And what we'll do is it starts at 1 o'clock, goes to 4 o'clock. We put together a little package of recipes, have teach you how to do everything. You get to take the recipes home because we do serve cocktails, wine, and beer throughout. Very simple, very basic, but good for you to cook for your family. Great for moms and kids to buy for their fathers. It beats a tie and it beats bad aftershave, without a doubt. While those are cooking, this is our red oak leaf lettuce. We hit the salad with a little bit of the lemon sorghum vinaigrette. You don't want to do too much. There's a lot of sugar. Sorghum is related to sugar cane. Okay, uh, why don't you pick up the quail, put the two quail, one here and one here. Got it. While he's doing that, just for the dressing, go ahead and do a little bit extra on the plate for color and additional flavor. Just prop it up up here. We'll do the leg side up. Let's, uh, there you go. Same thing, legs up. Now, you can cook. Nice presentation. Jeez, you fired. All right. You can't fire me, your son. I, can I can't fire my son? Are you sure? All right, cook them as well done or as rare as you like to. We got some roasted chopped peanuts. Very Georgian. These were some dried, not quite raisins, but some dried Thompson grapes that we cooked back up with balsamic and a little bit of brown sugar. It's good. Almost like a little chutney. Also looks cool. Yeah. Looks are very important to him. Absolutely. Tell them what it is. <laughs> Grilled quail salad. Grilled quail salad. With <laughs> With lemon and sorghum lemon vinaigrette, salad. red oak leaf salad. And peanuts. And we won't be teaching this at Grill Daddy. Just how much it really means. I'm, I'm so glad all. to be Well, hooray, yeah. Yo, sorry. Well, welcome free. Dear to me. All right. Where I can lose. What are you about to lose?